Hello! This lesson is all about pronunciation. The title of this English lesson is a sparkler. Mmm, and we're going to have a quiz. Great! Here we go. Let's get started. Repeat after me. Sparkler. The woman is holding a sparkler. Handheld firework. A sparkler is a type of handheld firework that burns slowly. Flames, sparks, and other effects. A sparkler emits colored flames, sparks, and other effects. Midway down. The sparkler is already burnt midway down the stick. Get burnt. If the lady holds on to the sparkler for too long, her fingers will get burnt. Baggy, long sleeved sweater. The female is wearing a baggy, long-sleeved sweater. Long brown wavy hair. The lady has white skin and long brown wavy hair. Neatly trimmed. The lady has unpainted fingernails that are neatly trimmed. Hold on to. The lady is using both hands to hold on to the sparkler. Cheerful, untroubled, and delighted. The woman's mood appears to be cheerful, untroubled, and delighted. Falling rapidly. The sparkler is so bright because dusk is falling rapidly. Soon it will be dark. Okay, so guess what time it is? It's time for the quiz. And yes, I'm going to put on my glasses. It's my tradition. Okay. So let's jump right in and get started. Let's see if you were paying attention while we were doing pronunciation. Here we go. Question number one. The woman is holding 
A, a fire stick. B, a sparkler. C, a flame. Hmm, take a moment and think about it. Okay, the woman is holding B, a sparkler. That's right, it's the name of the lesson. <laughs> uh, a flame is just the top part of a candle, right? If you touch the flame for too long, ow, it hurts. Uh, the fi a fire stick would just be a stick that's on fire. But we know when we talked about it, the lady in this picture is holding a sparkler. Okay. Question number two. M is falling and soon we will need a flashlight. A. Snow. B. Sunrise. C. Dusk. Okay, the answer is C, dusk. Dusk is falling and soon we will need a flashlight. So dusk is the part of the day, it's like sunset, where it starts to get dark. And in this picture, the sparkler is burning very bright, right? We can see that it's very easy to see. It's very nice and bright because it's starting to get dark out. If you were burning the sparkler during the middle of the day, eh, it wouldn't be so bright. Okay, so sunrise is the opposite of dusk, and snow doesn't make sense because there's no snow in this picture. <laughs> okay, question number three. The woman's sweater is... A. Long, ugly, and too tight. B. Uncomfortable and hot. C. Baggy and long-sleeved. What do you think? Okay, the woman's sweater is C, baggy and long-sleeved. Okay, so long-sleeved just means that her sleeves go all the way down to her hands, right? Short-sleeved would mean that the sleeves stop somewhere up here. However, this is a, a long-sleeved sweater and it's baggy, right? So it's not tight. Baggy means it kind of hangs down and is probably super comfortable because it's easy to wear and it feels nice. Right, so long, ugly, and too tight? Well, it might be long and ugly, but too tight? Eh, doesn't work because too tight is the opposite of baggy, right? Okay, uncomfortable and hot? Uh, it's possible, but we didn't talk about that, so we're sticking with C, baggy and long-sleeved. Okay. Question number four. The sparkler is burnt down the stick. A. Midway. B. All the way. C. A little ways. Hmm. Okay, the sparkler is burnt 
midway down the stick. Midway means partially down, almost halfway, right? The midpoint in the middle. So if the top of the stick is here, the bottom of the stick is here where it gets to her fingers, right? It would be midway down. All the way down would mean she would be like, ah, whoo, ah, it's hot. But it's not all the way down. And a little ways down would mean that the sparks would be up here. So just a little ways down the stick. So the answer is A, midway down the stick. Okay, question number five. If the lady holds a sparkler for too long, she might say, A, this is awesome. B, sparklers puzzle me. C, goodness gracious. Okay, what do you think? Okay, if the lady holds the sparkler for too long, she might say, C, goodness gracious. <laughs> okay, so goodness gracious fits when we're surprised or something maybe bad or really good has happened. But in this situation, if she holds it for too long, the flame, the sparks are going to go all the way down to her hand. And it's going to burn her and she's going to be like, ha, ah, whoo, goodness gracious, that hurts. Hmm. So she definitely would not say, this is awesome, because it would not be awesome. Her, she would be in pain. Sparklers puzzle me. Well, there's no exclamation mark, so she's just saying this one. Sparklers puzzle me. Puzzle means like to confuse or to make me think, not really understand. So sparklers confuse me. No, I don't think she would be saying that because her fingers would be burning, right? So the best answer here is goodness gracious. Oh my goodness, it hurts, it burns. <laughs> okay, all right, so we just finished the quiz. Wonderful. Okay, so in this lesson, we had a lot of pronunciation about the situation, a sparkler. We also had a quiz. Wonderful. All right, thanks for sticking around. Remember, improve your English and become more valuable. Improve your skills and be more valuable, more able as a person. Okay? If you enjoy our material, make sure to subscribe. Mmm, animation, animation. And if you're already subscribed, make sure to click on the bell icon and YouTube will send you a notification whenever we have new stuff. Okay, wonderful. So remember, improve your English, become more valuable. Let's hear a little bit of music and I'm out of here. <laughs>